What's up, YouTube? My name is Ricky. Today we are going to be reacting to Shine Down Planet Zero. That's going to be the video for today. Before we get started, though, just remember like, comment, subscribe, and if you want to see any particular song you want me to react to, please let me know in the comments down below, and I will try to get to them as fast as possible. Now, uh, Shine Down. I have not listened to a thing of Shine Down probably for the better part of a decade. Um, and even then, I can't recall any songs off the top of my head that was, like, I barely remember what I did yesterday and then the last 10 years ago. Um, I know they've been around, they've been touring and whatnot. Um, I just have not been listening to them. I didn't even know they were still around, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, still around in terms of making new music. Um, so this just came out a couple of days ago. Planet Zero was suggested to me. I... Honestly, I don't know what really what to expect. I haven't heard Shine Down in any capacity for a very long time. So, let's get right into it. Uh, shall we? Shine Down Planet Zero. Here we go. Oh, that that riff was utterly filthy um it was they managed a very heavy sound without it being overly distorted and they were able to move like manip not manipulate but like the note accuracy like the the scale they chose made it not muddy um, and I know a lot of this has to do with the mastering and whatnot, but that, oh, I, I gotta hear that riff again. Actually, the whole verse. The verse, um, the little, um, like, distortion they had of it, and I know these are very not comparable bands, but the first thing I think of is, like, an Imagine Dragons type vocal, um, not the sound, uh, like, not the sound of his voice, but the, the way that it's, it's mastered, it's mixed, and it has a little bit of distortion kind of in the background. No! Also, very nice touch of using riffs that go, uh, what us musicians call a, a phrase that goes over the bar. Um, the, the, the riff just doesn't end on the downbeat. There's an upbeat on the bar previous, and then they start again with an upbeat on the next bar, which it, it lures you in. It makes you anticipatory of thinking there's a downbeat there, and then it's not there. And it's a very clever touch. I, I love that. Trip, when you do triplets correctly, um, so again, for non-musician people, a lot of this song is very straightforward, up, down, up, down, up, down. Triplet feels don't follow that same um, linear path of going up and down and up and down. They have more of a circular motion. So that's why triplets, when done 
tastefully and done in the right moment they it throws you off it it throws you off in such a nice way because it's not you're you're so used to this pattern of straight straight up straight up straight up but then you have straight up straight up triple lit up or down and it's oh when done correctly it's so it's so impactful um and they did it brilliant uh brilliantly there another thing that i've noticed that is there's a lot more feel um being portrayed is that they give the vocalist a very nice open alley for him to sing um there's not a whole lot of um instruments in the background it's kind of just holding the chord but still keeping the energy if that makes sense like it has the sound exactly what they need to do but it allows the vocalist to basically go in any direction he wants to and he can really accentuate the words and the lyrics in especially the verses um to really make you feel what he's trying to portray oh this is great hold on i gotta listen i have to listen to the triplet thing one more time hold on Also, a nice touch. It doesn't happen very often because usually when you're done with the chorus and you go into another verse, you take a couple of bars to kind of breathe. So you're like, okay, you're back into the normal riff and then go right back and then you go into a verse. But they went exactly like, I'm done with the chorus immediately into the verse. And it it was no, not expected. And I appreciate that very much. I like a little slide for the vocals. Okay. It wasn't exactly the breakdown that I was anticipating for, but what they did a what was very capturing or cultivating about that entire section, that little bridge, was the the I guess the best word I can describe it is like operatic sounding um scale that they used. Um it's a very cinematic type of feel. It's a it, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. You have to listen to it again. shine down i see you i uh i see you i i can see why this was suggested to me now that was i that i that was honestly a refreshing sound it is not a sound i have heard 
in a in a while um like usually when it comes to the music that i listen to it's either one spectrum or the other in terms of it's either super heavy or it's super melodic um and so and that's that's honestly just my fault like that's just the music i've been listening to but shine down's like right in that in between of where it's like you still get the the satisfaction of the heavy punchy feel but the the melodies are catchy enough to where it's very easily palatable um uh that that this is fantastic shine down i tip my cap to you my dudes um that was i am thoroughly impressed and i think if i read it correctly that their album they have a new album coming out soon and that was one of the singles so i will definitely have to be looking into that when that comes out all right guys so that's gonna do it for our video today um again like comment subscribe if you have a particular song you want me to react to analyze even if it's a song i heard i've heard of i will probably do more of an analysis video for that then uh please feel free to let me know in the comment section down below also if you're um if you're interested we do stream on twitch three days a week mondays wednesdays and thursdays mondays and wednesdays we're usually live 2 30 pacific time and thursdays at 12 30 pacific time and until then i'll see you guys for the next video thank you